Hola, I'm Marina and I'm a professional film photographer and the founder of If We're Film. And this is the last video of a series of three called the best analog photography guide for beginners in which I'm going to cover all the bases you need to know to start in film photography. If you haven't watched the first video in which I explain about types and formats of analog cameras, which ones I recommend for beginners, or the second video in which I explain about films, formats, types, and which ones I recommend for beginners, then please go and check all the links down here in the description box, watch the two videos, and then come back to this one. So let's start with the last question of these analog guides. What options do I have after I finish my role? If you're here because you just finished your role of film, my sincerest congratulations. And if you're here because you want to know your options in advance, my congratulations too. Once the shooting adventure is over, there's one thing that we have to do in order to see our images, which is film developing. It's recommended to develop our film as soon as possible after shooting them. Although I must say that film kept in a dry and cool place can keep our images for a very long time, even years. But that's not the ideal thing to do. When we have finished our role of film, we have two options. We can send our film to a photo lab or we can develop it ourselves at home. We thought about sending your films to a photo lab is the easiest option and the option that I always recommend for beginners and especially when you're developing your very first films. I work for many labs and they kind of have the same options and services. So let me explain you what you can order with your film. We first have the developing only option, which is the option in which you get only, and I'm going to repeat that again, you get only your film process and receive the negatives back. So no prints, no scans, just the negatives. Although sometimes you can order what it is called an index of your roll of film, but not many places offer it for free. You might need to pay a little bit extra if you want to have an index. Normally they will cut your negatives in four or six frames per strip, but if it's easier for you to get your film uncut, please make sure to mention it on your order. Then we have the developing and scan option, which is the option which you get your film processed and along with your negatives you receive digital files of your photographs. Depending on the lab, you can choose the quality of your images. Low res, medium res and high res. Next, we have the developing and prints option, which is the option which you get your film processed and along with your negatives, you receive your images printed on photographic paper. Normally, you can choose the photo size and the photo paper finish. You can normally choose between gloss or matte paper, but my recommendation will always be to choose matte paper, it just looks better. I mean, for me, eh? that's, that's my personal opinion. Here in the UK, they use inches. So the standard sizes for prints are 6x4, 5x7 and 6x8. And you can also ask to have your prints with a white border, which is normally 5mm or without. And the last option would be a combination of the two that I mentioned before, which is developing, scanning and printing option. Obviously, each lab is different and they will offer different options, so now your job will be to find out prices and how long does it take to get your film ready. Developing your films yourself could be a little bit intimidating at first, but honestly, once you have the essential tools, you can easily do it at home. In this video, we're not going to see how you can develop your film, but I like to explain to you what are the things that you need to keep in mind and what are the essential tools you'll need. There are three main types of film developing methods depending on which film we're going to process. First, we have the color negative film developing, which is called C41 process. Then we have the black and white negative film developing, black and white process. And we have the color positive film developing, which is called E6 process. So keep in mind that you'll need to use the correct developing chemicals for each type of film. But just take this as a general rule, okay? You can experiment. You can, for example, use on your color negative films, black and white developing chemicals, or you can develop your color positive film with color negative chemicals, which this process is called 
cross-processing. But you know, only if you want to experiment. But please avoid one thing. Don't develop your black and white film with color developing chemicals. You will ruin your film. What I normally recommend is to start developing black and white films since I consider them to be the easiest to develop. So without further ado, here are the essential tools you're going to need to develop your film at home. Developing chemistry consisted of developer, stop bath if you want, you can use water instead, and fixer. Developing tank and reels. Make sure to have the right reel for your format of film. A changing pack for loading your films onto reels and then put them inside the developing tank. A film picker for retrieving your film or if you don't have, you can also use a bottle opener to open the bottom of the film canister. Containers to mix and store your chemicals, measuring cups, a thermometer, film clips for drying your film, and a timer, but you can use your phone for that. If you need to buy any chemicals, accessories, or find the essential tools that you need to develop, please go to Analog Wonderland shop. I left all the links here in the description box. Well, we finally reached to the end of this analog photography guide. I hope these three videos have given you a better overall picture of what you need to know to start in film photography. But if you really want to delve into the world of analog photography, get the best out of your camera and your creative soul, please go and sign for my film photography experiences or my online courses at ifwithfilm.com. Please go and follow me on my social media too, where I post reviews, tips about films and cameras. You have the links in the description box. Um, any doubts, questions, or anything that you'd like to add helpful for beginners, please go ahead and leave us here a comment, please. It has been a pleasure, guys. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Muchísimas gracias, and I see you soon. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Adiós. Bye.